Hello. Good morning. Welcome to day five of the seven day video challenge. So we're trying to get more likes and more views than Tom. And we got to get three times more than him because we have three times more subscribers. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers, by the way. If you're not subscribed, hit subscribe. It's awesome. We're going to do stuff. Um, ooh, ooh, it's looking nice out today. We did a little time lapse. I haven't seen it yet. Well, did it did it turn out good? Uh, we're going to do something different today. Well, not totally different. We're into treasure hunting and looking for stuff. So we're actually going to go metal detecting. But we're going to get out to a secluded island on the river where people stop in like... Uh, if you like boaters and stuff like on the weekends they stop there and they picnic and play around and hopefully lose stuff like gold rings <laughs> uh, so we have to get to the island so what I did is I dug my canoe out of the woods and slapped it on my trailer look at that it actually fits pretty good I just I just took the pins out and took the um, the back ramp off and I think I have to put a flag on there that's sticking out three feet. Because I used to put this on my, the roof of my cars, my vehicles, this canoe. But my back is bad and that canoe is pretty heavy. So I stopped doing that and I started kayaking more. Uh, but now we're going to switch back to the canoe because we can bring more stuff and hook up the trolling motor and stuff like that. So there we go. I think we got most of what we need. We got to get some batteries for the metal detector. Let's hit the river and go find some treasure. Let's go find some gold and take it in and cash it in and become rich <laughs> okay all right see you guys in a second hey we're here already wow that worked really good putting the canoe in the trailer um that didn't hurt my back at all i didn't have to do anything i just slid it out okay battery check does the trolley motor even work i have no idea how long this battery's gonna last so I, I came downstream from the island. It's, it's a long ways. It's like a mile or more that way. But if the trolley motor dies, at least we can float back to the car. Come on. Oh, look, we got, we got prop turnage. Okay, bucket for our fines and garbage and flotation. Battery. I, I went and bought brand new batteries for the Fisher F2, my go-to metal detector. We got the Swift Sift. Um, 3D printed Swift Sift. Yeah, my own design we're going to be using for sifting the sand. And we're going to do two things. We're going to look for a gold ring. And that probably won't happen, but we're going to try. I'm going to dig a lot of trash um, signals because gold actually shows up as trash on metal detectors. It comes up as like aluminum or pull tabs. Um, otherwise, the second challenge, let's try to find enough coins to buy our lunch today. So let's see if we can get enough to get like a cheeseburger from McDonald's. And we'll, we can only eat if we find enough coins. All right, let's go. What if I just let it go? And look, we have our safety flag so no yachts hit us. We got our boots so we can walk in the water. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, we got our paddle. Here, I might get us away from the shore. How did I get this in here? Okay, let's hop on in, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited because it's been a long time since I've been in my canoe. I'm usually really cramped in my kayak, you know? Oh, I'm so happy. I've really been putting that trailer to use. Oh, I should put the, ooh, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. Next time we go, I'm gonna put the battery way up there and run some longer wires so we balance out better. Cause now I feel fat, we're doing a wheelie. Oh well. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get some motion here. Do, 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 uh, forward. Oops, where are we going? Oh yeah, and it doesn't steer very good Wow, what the heck? I guess we're going this way. It really doesn't steer very good because I'm doing a wheelie. Should I put a big rock up there? It sounds stupid, but I might stop and put a big rock up there. Yeah, let's go do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh my gosh. That worked perfectly. Look. I put two big old rocks up there. We're sitting perfectly level. Look at how good I can steer now. Oh my goodness gracious. We got two rock friends. Pet rocks. <sighs> okay, it's probably gonna be like a 40 minute. Hey, we're not actually going as slow as I thought. This is only a, uh, I don't even know, a 40 pound? Oh wow, we're going faster than I thought. Cool. All right, guys, I'll come back when we can see the island. This is great, I'm gonna relax. We're sitting perfectly. I think I will move the battery up there though, won't that make more sense? Otherwise, well, I'll make a lead weight with all of our sinkers. I'll make a, I'll make a, a lead weight, ballast weight. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Hello there, ducks. Uh, could you please hit like and subscribe? Thank you. There's a bald eagle. Oh, he's gonna land up there. Let's go over there. Say hi. Uh, I was gonna show you guys anyway. There's a well. There's a blue heron sitting on here. But see what he's sitting on. You can see them posts sticking up. Let me see which way you guys are facing. There we go. Um, See all that post sticking up? This is actually an old bridge that crossed right here from like the 1800s for like the horse, wag horse wagons and buggies. Isn't that cool? There's still remnants. Okay, let's sneak up on the birds. I wanted to get over by this shoreline anyway. Um, I'm trying to get out of the current and out of the wind. The wind's going this way, the current's going that way. Hello there. Wow, that was cool. Hello there, seagulls. Okay, here's the island, guys. So this is a sandbar island that forms behind Eagle Island. So there's a rocky tree island there. It's real small, but the current comes around it. And since there's a kind of dead zone in the current swirling behind the island, it leaves a super huge long sandbar. Um, and everybody stops at the certain spot up here at the very front of it because that's the first part they hit and it's a little higher up sometimes this is all underwater um, and when the water's way up there's just a little tough all that little grass and stuff there that'll be the only thing sticking on the water or sometimes it's all the way covered but yeah on the very far this corner toward the end here is where the most um, activity happens so I think we're gonna have more the most luck metal detect in there so Let's go up there. We're going to claim that spot. Nobody's around. It's really cool. Ah, oh, the sun's starting to peek out. I was getting cold. It took about 40, at least 40 minutes to get up here because of the current. So, alrighty, I'm going to park up there and let's get started. Alrighty. Oh my gosh, it feels good to stand up. Whew. I just want to move around and get it warmed up a little bit. Let's get this big thing up. My rocks are so heavy. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's eyeball the situation. Um, the water comes through here and digs out the sand. So there could be stuff laying in there. Uh, looks like the sand has been removed from here. And then some spots, the sand gets piled up. But you can see where people had a camp spot there. And just over all the years, I mean, they, this is a man-made island. Oh yeah, this is another bridge spot. So see there's rocks there. Another bridge from the 1800s or early 1900s also. Uh, it crossed right here. This was the middle piling. Then it went to there. So this is an old area. So we could find old stuff or we're going to look for enough coins to buy a, a sandwich. And best case scenario, we find a gold ring and become rich. <laughs> Alrighty. Hey, let's just jump right in. I'm going to dig a bunch of um, bad signals. So what I'm going to do, this is the Fisher F2, a, a cheap, awesome detector. So we're going to discriminate out iron. We're going to leave all this other trash, though. 
because I'm gonna dig it. I don't care because that's where the gold will be. So watch. I am gonna look for repeatable signals though. So they have to kind of repeat. Otherwise it's it could be a little tiny shard of aluminum. Maybe there's just nothing out here. Hey, there's two nice pieces of firewood. Let me make sure I got you guys at a good angle. See, some stuff's gonna get just buried in the sand. See, this is just all, there's no signals at all right here. Let's go back this way where it looks like the sand has been peeled away. Okay, there's a bad signal, probably aluminum. Let's just try it. Uh, what we can do is, here, I think we got it. It's easier to rinse this out in the water. Yep, so see, that's molten aluminum, I'll show you. I'll be dealing with a lot of this today. So in the fire pits and stuff, this is a part of an aluminum can that's melted. So I'll get our junk bucket, and the neck, and as soon as I see something decent glimmer in the sifter, I'll bring you guys back. We're gonna be cleaning up this island. There we go, guys. Watch this. See how it's doing that double beep sound? I think it's a dime, and I think it's right on the surface. Watch this. Am I a liar? Well, where is it? <laughs> Did I do a good job? Do you guys like my drawing? Okay, I guess it's a little deeper. Pretend I didn't do that. Editor, edit that part out. Is it a dime? This would be awesome if we already found a dime. Oh, duh, I should have checked. Oh, it's a penny. I see it. It gave us like a dime signal though. Okay, so that's a, a Lincoln penny. We're on the board with the coins. Let me make sure I don't have any other coins in my pocket. Actually, I'll just add it to the bucket. Wow, that's cool, we got our first coin. That was, I. we've only been here like a minute. Okay, I just came back to where that penny was and there's something around here, guys. It's bigger. Why does it look so old? A nickel! We have six cents already. Wow, this one's pretty old. It's not, uh, let's see, can I see a date? 83. Wow, that's been here a while though. Oh, wow, it's getting me like rusty. Okay, well, six cents already. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. we are rocking it. This is going good. Okay, I think we got another coin. Okay, it's actually the easiest to just bring it to the water. Oh, it works so good. All right, what do we got? Oh no, what happened? What the, did I miss it? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Oh guys, it works so good. It really does, it's so easy. There it is, another penny, I think. Yep, another Lincoln penny, seven cents. Let's do this guys, come on, we need to eat today. There, we got another coin. I'm not gonna miss it this time. We got it. Oh it's, so, oh, it's aluminum. Uh, these come up as coin signals too, especially when it's this shape, look. Can I turn that in? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We got seven cents. Ah, this is a different signal. All right, let's just find this one. 
There we go. We got something in here. See? It's nice because this is all plastic, so there's no metal in the sifter. Yeah, there we go, guys. Yeah, is it another nickel? Yeah. We got 12 cents now. We are rocking. This is fun. And look, I can make a big mess and I don't really have to fill in my holes. I mean, I will, but you get what I'm saying? I'm not digging in sod at the White House. I could just kick this in. I swear we still lost one of the coins. Right here. Is there a coin here somewhere? We got a good signal here, guys. Come on. Okay, we got it. Let's do it. The swift sift. Swift sifts swiftly. Oh no, or slowly. What the? How did we miss it? Let's go back. I refuse. Did it fall through or something? Sounds pretty good to me. Wow, we missed it. Might be deeper. No, I got it. See? Yeah. Come on, coin. We got an eight today. Yeah, coinage. Lincoln Penny. 13 cents. I'll probably lose track eventually. All the coins have been in here. We got a good nickel signal, guys. Do we got another nickel? Come on. We got it, we got it. See, I can just go like this. Oh, that's awesome. I gotta start doing that more. Nickel time, guys. Yeah. We are on a nickel hunting adventure today. That one looks like it's a 60, wait, what does that say? Now, this is a 1964. Um, I kind of forget, they don't have, a 64 nickel doesn't have any silver in it, does it? If that was a dime or a quarter, that would have been silver. Wow, that's cool, we are, we're doing great. Here we go guys, treasure. Has this been sitting in the ground a long time? <sighs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. We got three, one, two, four glow sticks for a glow bobbers. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Wow, if we're here at night, we can, we can crack our glow sticks and we'll be able to see everything. We're walking toward, okay, here, there's the, the coin spot over there and look I'm just walking like a meandering tortoise this way and we're by the uh, little campsite here <laughs> so these will be recent drops but there could be quarters rings gold bars you know the usual I just thought I would cross the island I think a lot of it is covered in overburdened sand I could see the water was coming through here at one point because see it dug it down. So we'll go through there. There might be coins laying in there. Some of the stuff is going to be too far buried on the top here. But let's see if these campers dropped anything else. They clearly dropped the glow sticks. I'm thinking that was probably like six dollars. Okay. So it looks like um, this is all just overburdened sand. So there's pretty much nothing over there. I, I was, um, you know, I tried a, a few spots 
and I tried it in here, no good. So the only good spot was like right here. So we got them few coins. Um, but I noticed this shoreline over here, it has less overburdened sand because I can see gravelly rocks. So I don't know if anybody's ever metal detected over there. So I certainly haven't. So let's go over to that shore and just see if there's anything to find. There's where the old bridge crossing was. So you never know, there could be a really old coin sitting in there uh, or anything. Who knows what we might find? All right, let's go over there. There's a whole bunch of carp or something. I can see them feeding at the surface. Are they big? Should we see if we can sneak up on them? Oh, we're gonna hit the bottom. Here, look, they're right here. Whoa, yeah, some are huge. Okay, distraction. Okay, I actually just got started on here. See, there's the canoe. And I had a pretty bad signal. Um, it was really jumpy, but it looks kind of round like a coin or something. Here, let's wash it off. Maybe it is a coin. Why was it so jumpy? It's probably just because it's really corroded. Um, holy cow, this one is... Wow, I wonder if we got an old one. No, it's probably zinc. That's why it corroded so much. There it is. Another bullet? Guys, I've actually found multiple bullets. It's kind of cool. Uh, I wonder if they used to shoot into this hillside or something. Um, look, we got this one. They're completely different too. Oops, don't drop it. Uh, this one, this one, and one more. Hold on. Look at, oh, wow, that little one is ancient. This, is this a, this is like really small. Is that a 22? But it's got that whitish patina, which tells me it's really old. Now that sounds like a penny if I've ever heard one. right there it's amazing how they can hide in the sand what the heck I should have just walked to the water <laughs> let's kiss let's use the scooper for what it's made for There. It's just, we, wow. Is that a coin? Come on, guys. Oh, that's why it's crusty aluminum. Oh, no. Whoa, guys. Right away, I was like, is this a split shot sinker? But look, is this a musket? Was there musket balls this small, guys? Wow. That's pretty cool, whatever it is. I don't know. Is that a musket or a little like a homemade sinker? Pretty cool. We're on kind of the bullet shoreline, so it would make sense. Not many coins, but who knows? It's a long shoreline. I'm going to go all the way up there. Okay, this this sand, uh, gravelly bar area is just full of melted aluminum. So I basically can't even hunt this. I've I found like 30 pieces of uh, melted aluminum, and depending on the size and density, it comes up as all different stuff. So it comes up like silver coins, coins, pennies, nickels. Uh, so anyway, we are going to hop back in the canoe, and we're gonna go on the town side and start heading back that way toward the car, and look for beaches or areas 
that are exposed that people might have been dinking around or where we could try detecting. So, all right, I, I did find one more bullet also, so that was kind of cool. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's jump in the canoe. Should we check if uh, side character Tom is home? No, I don't. Doesn't look like he's home. He must be at McDonald's. Yeah, he's not home. <laughs> oh God, there's a tree. And a turtle, there's a turtle. Look, map turtles. There's two still. Turtles, please subscribe. Oh, they weren't even scared. Yeah, them are map turtles. I think I'll hop out right here for a few minutes. Um, this is a highly used little spot that kind of families and people come with their kids and sit around for a little bit. Cause see, it's right by this park up here. So let's just see if we can find a couple coins here quick. Since nobody's here. There's a megalith, like Stonehenge. Okay, we might have a coin here, or it's a sinker. We missed it that time. Uh-oh. Or it's a big buried pop can. What the heck, did we get it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, <laughs> we got a penny. We got a penny. Yeah. Okay, let's get another penny. Here we go. Oh goodness, what's that all about? Come on. Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, get a bigger scoop, geez. There. Do we get two in a row? We're rich. What's this? We got another penny. Oh, we're rich, guys. Is there more? What do we think of this one, guys? Ooh, that sounds coiny. Doesn't that kind of sound coiny? Uh-oh, deep coin. Wait, what's that? Oh, is it a sinker? What is that? Oh my gosh, guys. Jeez. Look at these. Huge sinkers. Okay, put them in the pocket. Is this another coin? Yeah! Penny! Why can't people drop bigger stuff? Silver dollars! Alright guys, we're back at the car. No! I'm out of time. I stopped at one other uh, beach over there, but I didn't find anything. So, and it got crazy windy over there, so... All right, I'm out of time. Let's do a quick little cleanup at home. We'll be right back here. All righty. Here, this will be our little cleanup spot. Okay, I, uh, well, let's see. I'll just clean up the stuff that made it good enough that made it into my pocket. Oops. Oh, geez, we dropped, almost dropped our um, musket looking thing. Oh gosh, this is a bad idea. Stuff is rolling away. Um, okay, we got one, uh, two, Three, four, five, six, seven pennies, three nickels. Yeah, there is a 1964. Look, this uh, this sinker looks like it's tungsten or some other kind of metal. Isn't that goofy? Uh, bullet and bullet, 
Yeah, look at here's bullets, bullet, um, bullet sinker, I think, <laughs> bullet sinker, um, exploded bullet. Um, this is really solid metal. Don't know what that is. Uh, aluminum, aluminum, and maybe musket. There we go. All right. Well, we didn't find anything too incredible to today, but we had a great adventure and we got to test out the canoe on the trailer idea. So we're going to be able to do more canoe adventures. And actually, I got an idea coming up, um, which will even be better than this. So who knows? You never know what you're going to find. So it was a lot of fun, but we ran out of time. So, all right. This was day five or yeah, day five. So we got a, at least two more videos in a row for the seven day challenge. Maybe I'll even keep going. Boing, 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 boing. Are you getting dizzy? Okay, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. GoPro, stop recording. Please, please listen to me. GoPro, stop recording.